self-expression. There's only one other prophet that came to the United States that used to speak like this. His name was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He came and did a famous speech called the I Have a Dream speech. This is another creation of him. The I Have a Dream speech created us. Dr. King called us into existence. Dr. King said, one day, my girls, my children, he said, one day my children are going to live in a nation where they're not going to be judged by the color of their skin or by the content of their character. You don't see that nowhere in the world but in hip-hop. Take a moment, baby. Okay, now we're back. <laughs> nowhere, nowhere on the globe, on the whole globe, planet, nowhere on the planet do you see a group of people respecting each other, not based on race, but based on personal character. No ethnicity on earth is practicing that. None. The only one, the only international culture that mimics the eye of a dream speech is hip hop. That's it. Now, go forward. When did he give the speech? 1963. Dr. King said in 1963. As a matter of fact, hold up. Let me bring it up. This is a book that I wrote called The Gospel of Hip Hop. This book here is a spiritual document, and if you can get it, I, I, I may give a few copies out, but this right here is, um, so th th this book here talks about the origins of hip hop. I'm not getting deep into it here. Now, I'm just giving you what hip hop really is and how you could use it in your life after you leave here. But I want to read you a little bit of the I Have a Dream speech, which is in its entirety in this book. But this is what I want to do. I'm just going to skip through some stuff. I, I underlined some things. I just want to run through. This is the I Have a Dream speech, okay? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He starts off by saying, I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration of freedom in the history of our nation. I am happy to join with you today, uh, uh, I mean, five score years ago, a great American in whom symbol shadow we stand today, he's talking about uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln. They were standing in front of Abraham Lincoln. Remember I'm talking about the Civil War, about not, this is not just about slavery. This is about who governs you. Who are you going to be governed by a a force, a, a military force, or are you going to be governed by God, meaning yourself? Dr. King said, 100 years later, the Negro lives in a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. The Negro. We still ain't now. This note was a promissory to all men. Dr. King is talking about a promissory check. He said, America owes us a check, and they gave us the check, and it bounced. He said, this note was the promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed the unalienable right of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as her citizens of color are concerned. And, and so we've come to cash this check, a check that will give us, upon demand, the riches of freedom and security of justice. Listen to what the check is. The check is not money. The check is freedom and justice. This is the check. This is the value. This is the wealth. Those who are running after money are running away from their real power. I'll get back to this.
right here. In the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Man. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. Man. Here's the hip hop part. So let freedom ring from the prodigious, prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the hiking Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the slopes of California. Let freedom ring from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain, Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill, molehill of Mississippi and every mountainside. Let freedom ring. Now this was said in 1963. Here's why I call it hip-hop. Look at the path that Dr. King laid out in this speech. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. New Hampshire's in Vermont. Not only is my DJ from, uh, he's not from Vermont, but he went to Vermont State University, DJ Scott LaRock, but in spiritual language, all journeys start from on high in the mountains. The blessing comes down out of the mountains into populated areas. This is known by anybody studying spiritual knowledge. The mountaintop is where God is. The mountaintop is where knowledge is, where freedom is. And so blessings come from the mountaintop. Look at where we start. We start in Vermont, New Hampshire, above New York. Where did hip hop start? Bronx, New York. Go to the very next line. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Where did hip hop go? Right after it left New York, it went to Philadelphia. Hmm. Jazzy Jeff, Fresh Prince, Three Times Dove, Stan B. Look these names up when you get a chance. But when hip hop was moving, it went from New York and it went right to Philadelphia. Stay in the East Coast. Let freedom ring. This is New York, okay? Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightened Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Next, let freedom ring from the snow capped Rockies of Colorado. Here we see the energy change again. Where did hip hop go? Directly after it went from New York to Philly, it did a little bit of Chicago, a little bit of Florida, but its big explosion, West Coast. West Coast. The minute hip hop left Philly, boy, it hood. came to the West Coast. How is it possible then that Dr. King can say, let freedom ring in New York, we in New York. Let freedom ring in Pennsylvania, we in Philly. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado mountains. Here's the very next line. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But it ain't done. After hip-hop, after, after hip-hop, after hip leaves the West Coast. Where does it go? Here's the very next line. Right after California. We're messed up. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Where is Stone Mountain in Georgia? Atlanta. Atlanta. Where did it go? Right Atlanta. after it left. The West it went right to the ATL. Why is it here? Ain't messed up. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. I'm not going to get into all. Everybody. Actually, after the South blew up. All these regions for Mississippi, uh, 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 Florida, South Carolina, everybody started coming up out the South and out the Southern, that, that Eastern Southern region there. Why do I point this out? Get the speech for yourself. You got it from Google. <laughs> I'm reading a book. You can get the same speech, but this is the point here. I'm talking to you about hip hop, hip hop's creation. Dr. King called us into existence. He laid out our entire path right here in 1963. You can't take things like this lightly. 